wasn't many position drills that you can really just show off your, your talents at the combine. But here you live, you know, see your hips flip, your punch in a more you know, accurate manner, and then uh, you got to do the bench again. Overall, what did you think of your performance today? It was all right. It wasn't stellar. It was all right. You shall be modest. You were incredible. <laughs> Was there one particular that you were trying to get a faster time or, or more more reps on the bench or something? Was there one area you were trying to improve the most today from the just, combine? Just really just come back and just, just show my versatility. Uh, you know, kind of answer some of the questions that scouts have about me. And I think I did that. Talk a little about the training you do for this. How much is training for pro day different from training for in-season football? I'd rather train for in-season football. <laughs> being serious. Um, just, just, it's football. We play this game to play football. And uh, we're not playing football this night as far. Um, even though this is geared toward football, I'd rather, I'd rather be training for football. When you got here as a freshman, you were, what, 240 pounds soaking wet? Mm -hmm. uh, if someone had said then that you'd be doing a pro day in front of scouts from 20-something teams, what would your response have been then? It's going to take me some time to get there. Uh, and that's what it's taking. You've always been sort of a goal-setting guy. What do you do between now and draft weekend? Continue to get stronger and just be ready for minicamp. Um, once those get ready to come in, so just be ready, stay ready, stay in shape. Do you have an expectation about where you're going to go? Don't know where I'm going to go. Just know i got to be ready when I go. By all accounts, you had a good performance at the Combine in Indianapolis. Did that allow you to come into this more relaxed than you otherwise might have been? Um, definitely, if not just from the point of view that I did not have to do anything other than the offensive line drill. So obviously I was a little more relaxed than most people. I wasn't quite on edge about things. Were there anything, any of the events at the Combine that your performance surprised yourself? Um... At Eldrill, I didn't think that, um, I think I got a tie for 10th place overall. And uh, going into it, I was thinking that would be one of my weaker you know, areas, just because that was something I wasn't completely familiar with. Mm -hmm. I was pretty good at the shuttle, but not so much the Eldrill. And so that one kind of surprised me. What have you been hearing from teams since the combine? Um, just uh, here and there, they're wanting to work me out or just, um, you know, look good. Just, uh, I just want to see you a little more, just... Uh, I guess more drills, not so much the combine drills, just stuff kind of catered to their organization. Mm -hmm. And just from that point of view, just seeing if I can fit in. Have you met with some teams yes. or gone to? Can you say who they are? No, I cannot. Say? But uh, I have. I've met with a few, and I've got a few more coming. A year ago, you're coming off a, a year when you didn't play. Correct. Uh, you were carrying a little more weight than you are now. A little bit. And you dropped, what, 70 pounds between the Armed Forces Bowl and right. Spring Bowl last year. Mm-hmm. What changed? It seems like everything about you changed in a matter of a few months. <laughs> it just—it wasn't just the physical transformation. I think overall it was more the, uh, just the mentality, just completely different. Whereas before I'd just say, screw it, I don't want to work out. And now even if I don't want to work out, I, I do it anyway. Right, but what sparked that? Was it somebody sitting down with you and talking um, to you? Because surely you'd had those conversations before No, it, it before really that. wasn't that. It was uh, more or less just kind of got it in my head because when I came back during two days that year, obviously I got some... Uh, funny looks to say the least and people were just you know they'd be like what happened to you what did you do what did you eat somebody <laughs> or, but uh like another person is just attached to me but you know i look at myself in the mirror and i see it just kind of a gradual change what have they said about when they've given you feedback what are they most impressed with in terms of either your on the field play or your quickness your strength your um, what do they like seem to like the most about you a lot more the, the quickness point of view and then the playing with strength because I mean, obviously I'm not the guy that come and did like 50 reps or whatever he did. <laughs> Cheated, but he got 42. <laughs> but um, no. But either way, um, no. Just just the uh, strength type of play. You play four years at defensive end, and now you're being looked at as a tight end. Walk through the thought process. How did this transition come about? Uh, it kind of just happened, you know. Um, I got a chance to go play in an all-star game two weeks after our bowl game. And went out there, you know, just positive, just trying to make something happen, just trying to have some fun, really. And uh, it turned out I played pretty well, and then I got a lot of looks at tight end, so now these teams want to see me play tight end. Whose idea was it originally? I mean, obviously you played tight end and were recruited as a tight end coming out of high school, too. Yes, sir. But um, whose idea was it originally to shed some weight and start catching passes after practice like you were at the end of the season? You know, I don't know. It just kind of happened. Uh, it was, obviously, I had some idea to do with it, but, you know, I just thought – I wanted to be athletic, you know, so it couldn't hurt me to, to get out here and run around. And uh, it ended up I, I did really well uh, in front of some of these scouts, so they enjoyed watching. Have you gotten any feedback from scouts and coaches in terms of 
you got four years of video as a defensive player. What is this? What is this going to do to your draft status? Playing a position you haven't done in four years. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's obviously not optimal for me to do this, but you know, I have some some tape from the All Star game when I came here at Pro Day. They, they got some looks at me running routes. I mean, really, uh, playing defensive end it shows that I can you know be athletic, play both ways, and that I have that mental toughness to play defense in a three four. It's not easy. <laughs> Did anyone try to talk you out of this transition? Yeah, I had some, you know at the very beginning I had people that, who were wondering why I was doing this and who thought I was crazy, but. You know, I, I decided I'd try it out, you know. I got one chance to do this. How would you assess them today? Were you happy with um, the numbers you put up? Or yeah, I was pleased, you know. Like, I've, I've obviously ran a little better and jumped a little better, but everything all around was pretty good, pretty up there. You see some players at different positions who will fit better into certain systems. Do you look at different offenses and think that you'll fit better in this particular kind of offense as a tight end versus one versus another? Or could you fit pretty much anywhere? Uh, I would say I'm pretty versatile in the fact that I haven't looked, uh, I haven't really narrowed down anything. Um, I feel like I can block well, you know, and, and catch well. It's just a matter of who wants to mold me into what, I think.